Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ty and I appreciate you joining me today. Now most of us are familiar with these type of bikes over here, right? Street Glide, Road Glide, and the saddlebags that come on these type of bikes. We're, we're familiar with those. And now the Lowrider ST shows up from Harley Davidson's lineup and has saddlebags of its own. But the question that I'm curious about is, am I gonna be able to carry the same amount of gear on the Lowrider ST that I am used to with my Street Glide CVO? And so that is the question that I wanna test. Typically, I'll probably do a road trip with my buddies or go out of town or whatever I'm gonna do, maybe like a, like a Thursday through a Sunday type of thing. So that's exactly what I'm gonna pack for. Uh, clothes, YouTube gear, all those type of things. Now, on my Street Glide CVO over here, I also have a chopped tour pack. Now, I don't want to put the chopped tour pack on my Lowrider ST, just not interested in it. But I did put a luggage rack on there. So that way, if I need extra storage, if I need extra space, I'll be able to utilize that. So let's go inside, let's get our bags packed, and then let's see what these motorcycles have to offer. <music> Okay, at this point, I've got two saddlebags full of gear and clothes, or actually clothes for the most part, just to validate your suspicions. I really did pack everything up in here. So I've got uh, my rain gear, an extra jacket, all of that type of thing in here. And then in this bag, I've got a uh, change of clothes, change of shoes, an extra jacket, all the necessities for clothing and that type of thing for right at four days packed up super duper tight in here. So clothes, rain gear, jacket, boots, that type of thing. So let's take this. I know it's going to fit in the in the uh, street glide, but let's double check and then we'll convert it over to the low rider ST. All right, let's see what we can do here. Here's the first saddle bag, and of course, these these are designed for this type of saddle bag, so they are going to fit in right here just with no problem whatsoever. Now for the second saddle bag, we're going to make sure everything fits in here nice and neat. And it should fit just fine. Now a little bit of useless walking around knowledge on these type of saddle bags. So these saddle bags right here on this model will hold 2.4 cubic foot of storage space. We get that much out of each one. On the Lowrider ST, see if I can spin this around and show you. So on the Lowrider ST, on these bags, the difference is you're looking at about 1.9 cubic foot of space. So a pretty big difference there, but we're gonna see if everything that's in the street glide is now gonna go in here. Okay, at this point, I've got my rain gear moved over to the Lowrider ST. So I've got my rain gear, an extra jacket, all those things that you just kind of needed a moment's notice to grab, all of that is packed up in this saddle bag. And over on the next side, I've got a bag packed up. We're going to put that in there, see if it'll work. Okay, I've got my clothes moved over to this bag. So now we're going to see if it's going to fit in the Lowrider ST saddle bag. So we're going to pop that open. It should fit in there just nice and neat. I mean, it's almost absolutely perfect. Nice little clothes. There we go. So the, all of my gear, all of my gear that was in the CVO, the Street Glide CVO, has now been moved over to the Lowrider ST. All right, now that I've got the majority of the same gear that was in the Street Glide moved over to the Lowrider ST, there is one clarification that I want to make, and that is this does not include any of my YouTube gear. So if I was going to carry my YouTube gear, I usually carry a drone, a couple of cameras, GoPros, batteries, that type of thing. That is most definitely going to need to go on a bag on top of that luggage rack. That is where the Chop Tour Pack comes in extremely handy. 
if you have one of those. Just a ton of more storage space, a ton of more options for you to put your gear in, but this should work out just fine. It really should. So I'm going to get a bag. We'll roll some B-roll here or something. I'm going to get a bag, put my YouTube gear, strap it down to the luggage rack just to make sure it works out great. All right, we are back over here on the Lowrider ST. This is actually one of my favorite bags that I use to put on a luggage rack. I've used this one on a bunch of different bikes, and it is fantastic. It is just, it, it's exactly what I need. So I know some of you skeptics out there are going to say, he's not putting everything in there. I most certainly am. I've got my drone here. This is my camera bag that I use to hold all of my charging stuff for my GoPros and this, that, and the other. And it's down in there as well you can see that it it fits just fine it's going to have just about everything that i would need on it and then typically i just use this cargo net here and uh, strap everything down with this and a few bungee cords but this is going to provide me all the storage space that i need at this time so i believe we're a go well, at this point, I think I have proven it to myself and hopefully to some of you guys that with a few simple modifications, you can tour on your Lowrider ST. If you're wondering where I got that luggage rack at, the link will be down in the description below. I also have an install video for the luggage rack that you can watch here. So if you guys would, please hit that thumbs up to show your support for the channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I've got great Lowrider ST content always on the way. I hope you guys have an excellent day, and we'll talk to you again soon.